This is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, also called ICSI. On the left, the holding pipette. On the right, the ICSI or the injection pipette. And one can already see the sperm um, a little ways up in the ICSI needle. First, the oocyte is positioned with a polar body. That's a little small vesicle at the 7 o'clock position. Um, that's where we want it, at the 7 o'clock position testing the reach of the needle, making sure it can reach deep enough, sperm coming down a little bit closer to the tip and then put on hold just before it exit the tip. Lining up the holding pipette, the membrane of the egg as well as the sperm, slowly putting pressure, pushing in. We do not want to go too deep so as to damage the oocyte. Then slowly pulling back the needle to allow for enough reserve to inject the sperm. Needle pulled back about two thirds, and then now slowly pressuring or sucking um, on the plasma on the soup of the egg on the inside. Slowly pushing, we want to see a smooth break of the membrane of the egg. Still slowly pushing, there it breaks, sperm going all the way up in the pipette, reversing the direction of flow, needle being pushed in slowly. We want that now to slide and actually get through that fatty membrane, not in yet, right there it's slipping through, sperm coming and the sperm deposited about two thirds in. Now slowly retracting the needle so as not to bring the sperm with, needle out, tucking it in a little bit from the top, a little bit from the bottom and at this time the intracytoplasmic sperm injection is complete and the egg is released.